JSON is a popular format for data sharing, but it can be hard to process without writing custom code. But there's a tool called JQ that can be used to process JSON at the command line. To use it in a Compute Canada system, you first have to load the Nix module and then install JQ into your Nix environment. That step only has to be done once. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to fetch some sample JSON from the HPC subreddit. So by default, you can see that JSON looks fairly ugly. It's output in a compact format. The simplest JQ operation is simply dot, which copies the input to the output. But by default, JQ formats the JSON, so now we can actually see the structure. We have a top-level object, which contains kind and data. Data contains children, which is an array of posts. And this is probably what we want. We want this array of posts. So let's extract data children. So now you can see that at the top level, we have the array, and each element of the array is another object containing kind, data, and then more options in here. So let's say we want the titles. Let's extract .data.title from every individual element of this array. So if we break the array apart, .data, .title, and now we have just the titles. If we want to have more than just the title as an output, we instead use the function application operator, and we can construct an array of title and score. But most likely, if we're using JQ to extract data, we want to use this in a tool that doesn't understand JSON. So instead of constructing a JSON array on the right-hand side, let's construct a string. So we'll make it title, we'll make it tab separated, and in this case, because score is a number, I have to convert it to a string, and now we have all the strings. We can, if we want, filter. So instead of having all of the items, we can just select ones where the score is high enough. That gives us fewer. The problem is, of course, that these are output as JSON quoted strings. If we want to output it for another tool, we want to output the actual string. And so that's just one more step. Put JQ in raw mode, and we have our output data that we can process in our other tool.